and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. Today, I'm working on November Collection Obsession. This is layout number three. And this week, I planned that I wanted to do mixed media on this layout. So now that I've covered that, I can throw that note away. And what I'm thinking... Let me back up first. If you remember, we're using this really basic two-page sketch from Page Maps, and it's just a block, 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 super basic. And it, because I had that plan, it took me almost no time to cut out four two-page layouts to do this month. And once I got all the papers cut out and planned what I wanted to do, now I get to play. And that was the whole purpose, was to get a lot of the work done, to give myself time and the luxury to play. Because you know what? We're in that season where it is just rush, rush, rush all the time. And I do not have a lot of excess time. So I still want to play. I always want to play with paper. So that is my plan. I want to just kind of play around and decide how I want this layout to go. I'm thinking at the moment that I want my blocks centered. I've not done that this month. And that is one way to make a sketch look different than the intended sketch. Is just shift around the elements. So her, Becky uh, Fleck Moore has hers toward the center. So she has everything shifted to the center. I'm just moving everything back out and centering it. I believe that's how I'm going to do it. So we're doing mixed media. I'm going to get these two pieces out because that's where my mixed media is going to live. We're going to get rid of this for the moment because we're we're about to get dirty folks it is going to happen let me get out my mat and we are going to do we're going to do some creating we got some schmutz on there okay these little pieces of glue I don't know where that came from so what I'm thinking we're going to do one at a time is I have my brayer I have a stamp I have my trusty chocolate chip ink pad and I'm going to grab some paint Now, this is super duper cheap, just basic white paint. I think I got this at Walmart. And I don't want a ton of paint on here because this paper is not thick enough. It will bow up. I'm going to do a dry painting technique. Very little, and that's why I'm using the brayer because the brayer will make it spread out further. So, the only way to know if this is going to work is just to do it. So, that seems like a lot to me. I believe I'm going to pick some up and go ahead and share it with the other page. So what I'm thinking about on this is that I don't want just, I want the blue to show through, but not so much of the blue. You know what? That went out further than I thought it was going to. And I'm just going to spread it around. Kind of make this look a little less 
vibrant. I'm using pattern paper on pattern paper on pattern paper. And for my eyeballs, that just gets to be a lot. And I want to tone that down some while I'm thinking ahead where photos are going to go, where my clusters are going to live, where I'm going to do my stamping. I'll tell you right now, I'm already using so much more paint than I thought I would be. Now, because this we're doing this dry technique and we're running the paint out as much as we possibly can, and that is exactly what I want, I'm going to be able to stamp on this almost right away. Very minimal drying time. I need just a smidge of paint up here in this corner. So we're going to let this one dry for just a moment or we're going to start working on this one. And I already know I'm going to need more paint than I thought I was going to need. So what are you working on this November? I would love to know if you're sharing it on social media anywhere. Feel free to put links to your social media sites. We're going to have to bring this one back because I got a little too zealous. Y'all know I do this. Why didn't you scream at me and say, Priscilla, hey, watch out. Chick, you know how you do. It's time to clean some of this paint up. For sure, put links to your so that I can follow you. I love cheering along my friends. I love seeing your work. I love being inspired by you. And honestly, I hope I'm doing something that inspires you. That makes you want to play. Because that's the name of the game. If we're just buying all this stuff and we're not using it and playing with it, that's no fun. Although I will say, for me, the shopping is kind of fun. I got crazy with this. Crazy. All right, let's go at it again. Getting, but that's better. My friend Kelly Pyron, if you're not following her channel, you should be. She is amazing. She's very creative. She was sharing the other day about the process of creating. And she said some things that I thought were really honest. And I appreciate her candor. But then she also shared a bit of truth that I think, I know it helped me. Okay, I got interrupted for just a moment. My husband brought up my Crop and Create Delivered box. If you're doing the Crop and Create Delivered for fall, give me a shout out. I 
I am Team Peak, but um, I am not going to peak today. So I'm just going to, this is not like perfect stamping. I don't want this to be perfect stamping. I just want, I'm okay if there's skips in it. I'm okay if it's not just perfectly adhere, you know, just, I don't care. I want this to look a bit random. I want it to be run into each other. I'm creating a different background than what I had prior. And keep in mind, a lot of this is going to be covered up because of photos and embellishments. And I used to be in the camp that thought, why do all of that work and get rid of it? Well, it's pretty. It's fun. That's why we do it. I was speak I was talking about Kelly Pyron's channel in a video that I will link that video down below. It's part of her 30 days of sketches. And she was talking about getting to the point where you just think, oh, this is so ugly. I don't, I don't want it. I'm going to get rid of it. And taking a break and just getting away from it and then coming back. And I think there's a lot of wisdom in that because when you're in the process of creating, it doesn't look like what you imagine. There is definitely that period of development that's kind of ugly, for a better word. But the end result will come together and it will look great. I have to remind myself of that. And I have so, so appreciated Kelly talking about that in her video. Because I know I'm guilty of seeing a post on Instagram or Facebook or a YouTube video. And I'm seeing, you know, the end result. And you think, wow, that is, you know, so good. And I'll, I'll never be able to, to create that way. Yes, you can. I just have to remind myself that the middle process isn't always great it gets a little scary sometimes have faith in the end process the end result okay we're all cleaned up I need to clean off this mat because I stamped off just a little bit My room is in a total wreck at the moment. Now, I know my uh, Teresa and I tease back and forth. She always says my room's not as bad as I think it is. But for me, my room is in a total wreck right now because I have been creating and not putting things away since August. Because I have, I just want to play. And I want to join in on these challenges. I'm liking this. I'm happy with this. Okay. So now we're going to put our layout together. I'm going to bring these back. And we are, I'm going to adhere everything. And when I come back, we'll start I'll let you watch the process of creating the layout. Okay, I'm back and I have a plan 
I am a woman with a plan. I'm trying to slide this so that all of it is in the viewing area. There we go. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I am using my chipboard. I want to use as much of this as I possibly can. And I'm going to start building up here my title. This, in all things give thanks, thanks, is my title. And when I started placing it, it felt like it needed a ledge. I'm sorry, folks. My stuff is hiding from me. And so I decided to use this scrap to create myself a ledge. So let's just go ahead and, ad and adhere that because I know I want it. And we are going to create our title scene up here. I have these really small flowers that are chipboard that I'm just going to pop along the edge. And that will be that side. And since I put a ledge over here, I'm going to put one over here. But I need to work through this to figure out my placement. In this chipboard, now this is not the same collection. This is a more recent collection by Cartabella, Welcome Autumn. It's frames. And I got this on a sale uh, last year through Echo Park when they do their warehouse sales. And I'm using this frame. I'm going to place this about here. Now the photos that I'm going to use from this event, this Thanksgiving get together, it's a bunch of group shots and I'm going to do print them out three by four. I will trim them so that these mats work and I'm going to lay them down a little wonky. I don't want that it's just perfectly straight. I already love how it's looking. So I'm going to start adhering these. So real quick, I'm just going to run my adhesive on these. And the placement is not super important because the photos are just going to rest on these mats. I do want them to be wonky. I don't want them straight. And we're going to kind of go back and forth. I love this. I really, really like how this is looking. I'm going to have to go back and put ad adhesive on these pieces of chipboard, even though they have some uh, sticky to the back, sticker back, it's not strong. So I can press down on them and make them hold for a second. It's not going to last. Okay, so let's start working on building this side. I'm just going to lap this over here so we can have this as our focus. I have another frame. Now it will not hold a four by six, but it's close. And I will just trim my photo down so that it fits inside that mat. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to lay these down kind of wonky. 
and I'm going to pull this back and let you look at it together. This is how my two page layout is going to look. Let's just go ahead and adhere these. And we'll start placing. So I want my margin to be similar here. So I'm going to ease these over this way. Now I can't have it quite as much because I have this four by six frame here that's taken up some of that space. And then I'm going to build another cluster down here. And these are the elements that I'm going to place my journaling is going to go here, and I think I want to, it to be this way. Once again, some of these have adhesive on them, but it isn't great. I think I'm going to put this one down here. And that, my friends, is my layout. This is the end of week three. Come back. We're going to work on week four. We have other projects going on. We will chat again soon. I promise. Bye-bye.